Okay, it's a Tuesday. We've got a little bit of weather to talk about. It's gonna be one of those wild and woolly weather days. That means thunderstorms for everybody, potentially. Uh, big snow in the Sierra Nevada, as you know. Uh, chains up and down on 50 and 80. And funnel clouds possible. Surf has come up, so the waves are kind of big. And it's south winds kind of muddling things up down in Santa Cruz. We'll look at that. And then we'll look at the chance of drying out here a little bit as we go through time. So right now we've got the radar up and this is as uh, 10.30 this morning. And what I want you to see here is you can see the west slope of the Sierra Nevada. How, see how it collects the moisture and the cold air. So we've seen snow levels on the west slope down to below 2,000 feet in some cases. It's sticking pretty aggressively above 2,500 feet. Uh, but a low snow elevation. So that creates its own problems for travel in the Sierra. This is the radar, um, it's the radar, <laughs> it's called Radar Scope. And I was just talking to a guy yesterday about this. Um, and he was saying, I was saying yesterday on the, on the, I don't know if it's a podcast, I don't even know what we got going here, but a weather briefing. And then at the back end, we do fun podcasty things. But um, he was saying, all, all I need is this. And I was saying yesterday, all you need is this. And the reason I say that is because if you live in California in the winter months, it rains a bunch and there's scattered showers. Today is going to be one of those days where you're going to see scattered showers like we're seeing now in the Bay Area. So like Vallejo just cleared out. So let me I'll put a stop on this right here. Okay, so that's current. So let's do this. So here is Fairfield. Fairfield, you're in the clear right now. Strong cells moving south towards Concord. I'm in Concord right now and I'm not going to start in a run. I go, nope, not starting that run. I'm going to wait for about 15 or 20 minutes till that cell goes through and then I got a wide swath. So the way you how which ways are the clouds going? Well, you put on they, they generally move in a similar direction, but you see they're, they're kind of going south and east. So now you can go, oh, this is what's coming. This is what was here. And in the case of Marin County, this is the clear air I'm in right now. Rona Park, you're clear for a while. So you get to maybe a few scattered sprinkles here. But the things you look out for are these areas here, these areas. So I guess what I'm saying is radar is as real time, awesome uh, imagery as you can get weather-wise, besides looking out the window. So it's a good tool to have. I spend a little money on that just because it's invaluable. Like I, I can't tell you how people, even the kids come out in the streets and I'll see a cell coming and I'll see them playing skateboarding and stuff like yesterday this happened. And I was like, hey, you guys, check it out. It's going to rain in about five minutes, but it's only going to rain for about 20 minutes because we can see the trajectory of the rain. Just, just get your skating, go in the house, get some lunch, and come back out. You'll be good in a minute. And that's, you can live a life like that. You can live a life like that. I actually have, but it's a great, it's an awesome tool. Um, this is not going to work today, I don't think. Dang it. This is 80. Uh, the, the highways are jamming with snow up at Lake Tahoe right now. Lots and lots of snow. Bit of rain over the last couple of days. This is the CNFRC um, River Forecast Center. And you can see, let's see what you can see. I'll, I'll come in a little closer. You can see Marin County. Let's see, get rid of that. Marin County coming in at uh, over an inch of rain over the last couple of days. So these rainfall accumulations, right? Cold air, not as much water available. So in, in, you know, if this was an AR event, these numbers would be three and four times, right? Because of the increased moisture content from the subtropics. This cold air system, which is bringing us low snow elevations, chains on 50 and 80, the air doesn't hold a lot of water, just doesn't. And so you get half inch of rain in two days on Mount Diablo. San Jose has done okay, oh, half inch of rain in a couple of days. And the whole state has been kind of in, involved in this system. And take it to Southern California, they have had rain, but you see the numbers or the colors are much more muted, representing under a tenth of an inch, over, you know, under a half of an inch. But still, some rain falling for pretty much everybody. We'll start off with, uh, we're going to look at a couple models. This is the North American model, and referred to as the NAM often. This is just going to, we're going to go short term with this, because really this is the only weather system that we're paying attention to um, right now, because there's not a lot behind it, as you will see. So here we go. This is right now, right? It's morning. And then this is this afternoon. You're like, God, whatever, Bill. What, right? What do you do with that? That's late this afternoon. And I think the thing to notice is, so this is when you're driving home from work. You know, like 
this stuff here, that's nothing. This stuff, West Slope of Sierra Nevada, is something. So it just keeps snowing. And it is, it is a indication of orographic lifting and how the West Slope of Sierra Nevada is a bullseye and a trough for rainfall and snowfall. And this is exactly, I'm telling you right now, this is beneficial snow and beneficial rain as we get into the spring months. So this is awesome. So here we go into tonight and mountains still getting some action dies down by tomorrow morning up around Lake Tahoe and then it's cold but it's dry so the North American model keeps us dry now we're into Friday didn't go out as far because it's more granular now we're into Saturday Friday afternoon Saturday so that's one look so that is the North American this is the GFS you're going to see that they look kind of similar here is this afternoon right here and right so it's all I'm good with it right and then the thing you notice is clear 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 what's that that's April 7th on Sunday afternoon it really looks like not much big wind event here that's on Saturday April 12th that's a lot of wind that would be a big wind event um, but we'll see I mean it's right so far out so now we can go okay let's take a look at the GFS rainfall accumulation here we are, see the bullseye on the Sierra Nevada, right? This is awesome, awesome storm. I mean, the fact that we're getting this much in, uh, this much snow this late in the season, some cases two to three, I'm seeing four and five feet up around Mount Shasta. It's good stuff, it's good stuff, as you know. It's good for the fishies, it's good for the birds, the whole thing. So there we go. So that, I mean, you see, and I'm going all the way, That's this is the rainfall forecast through the 17th for the next 16 days. This is the kind of rainfall accumulation you can expect. Doesn't look very A-R-E to me, A-R-E. <laughs> okay, so now you can see the cold air coming in, right? The cold, the cold air, yesterday the, the spreckly clouds were way out there. Cold air is infiltrating. And what you can see here is the warmer air starting to fill in, right? This is coming in from some, uh, some tropical moisture and it's gonna to start to warm us up. And you notice there's not as much speckled cloud cover in here because it's warming up the atmosphere. This air mass is modifying. So what do you got? You, yeah, you got it, it's going on. Um, national map, we've got winter storm warnings in our mountains for a while, a couple, couple, you know, certainly the next 12 hours. Wind advisories down by the birds at Big Bear and wind advisories at Point Conception. So breezy, breezy conditions. Breezy up around Cape Mendocino and winter storm warnings in Montana. This is fire concerns. Again, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. Winter storm warnings up here in the Great Lakes region. Big storms down in this area. They're gonna be looking at the concerns for this is heavy rain activity and potential severe weather, especially as we head into tomorrow as this all shifts east. So we'll take a look at the forecast for tomorrow. Um, and you can see things out, out west start to dry out, right? All north of Cape Mendocino. And then you've got this system, which is sort of hanging out. And this is gonna produce some significant weather. This is late to this afternoon and tomorrow. So Oklahoma, Missouri, Arkansas, you guys are getting into some, some nasty weather, which is uh, season appropriate because this is the time of year that you get severe weather in the, in the plains. Okay, so we're covering some ground. This is uh, a camera I do enjoy. I enjoyed this yesterday too. This is up around Cottonwood. And you know what I did yesterday, which, oh, that's awesome. I just, all right. You can see how dry the air mass is. So see how the showers just kind of come through and sprinkle a little bit? It's not like a big rain shaft. Although yesterday I did a move, there's a nice rain shaft. I did a move yesterday where I went through the cameras again, because you can go back on these things a bunch of hours, right? So like right now I'm gonna go back, you know, three hours, and, and this is up in Bolinas. Um, but I'm interested in the clouds going the other way. Um, I, I found some awesome, towering cumulus clouds on that last camera I was looking at that went out of Cottonwood um, and it just big rain. She looked literally like a severe thunderstorm, just blew through with just torrential, almost like a microburst. It was awesome. I wanted to share it with you, but I, I didn't, I didn't save it. Okay. So let's do this. This is, um, oh, this is one of the cameras that had some stuff yesterday too. This is down towards, uh, looking north towards Sacramento. And there's some shafts going through. And 
which is awesome. You can I mean, talk about, yeah, it's mesmerizing. Just that fluid dynamics, right? Um, and that is all, you can see it's all making its way up into the west slope of the Sierra Nevada where it just goes, stops, gets pushed up, spreads out, slows down, and nukes, as the kids up there say, uh, nuking snow. This is Butler Hill, which is down by Santa Paula. We did this one yesterday too. You, know, you can see the weather, they're, they're into some cool air, certainly, but clear air. Let's go back three hours. Look at development on the hills. Looks like a nice day. Some of these mornings, especially when you get the cold air, once it goes through and you get that really crisp atmosphere. Santa Barbara, Oxnard, Ventura, you guys got a little bit of rain down there, less than a quarter of an inch for the most part, but a little bit of rain, which is at this time of year is what you want to see going into the um, summer and concerns for fire. This is Ocean Beach. Uh, winds are very strong. Sand is blowing at the beach. Uh, swell is four to eight. Tide is increasing. Swell drops next couple, couple of days. And you can see some rain shafts offshore, right? I bet you can see them right here. Those are rain shafts. And earlier I looked at this, this picture, this live shot, and there, and this was a towering cumulus cloud out here, which indicates, right? You're like, wow, the water is that warm that it's producing, or relatively warm, the air is that cold actually, going over relatively warm ocean, creating convection. This is um, Santa Cruz, as you know. I like this shot, I just do. Um, guys, folks getting some surf, not bad. Um, tide's coming up, so the swell, it's gonna get a little bit yuckier and yuckier, but in the next couple hours, yeah, you know, the, when the tide gets too fat, too deep, it slows down the wave and it doesn't hit the bottom anymore. And sometimes it's okay, but the lane is super tide dependent. This is uh, Halama. Temperatures in the Southern California area today are gonna to be in the upper 50s, very low 60s. Everybody else around the state, mid 50s, upper 50s. Uh, and again, big juxtaposition between Blue Canyon, snowing to beat the band, and then Halama right now, which is the tip of point conception. And swell. Kind of quiet, nice, just a nice day down there. And then this is Sunset Cliffs, I think it is. Yes, yeah, Sunset Cliffs in San Diego. San Diego, you go about 63 or 64 degrees today, but you can see some of the sprinkles made it that far south as well. Swell continues to drop off over the next couple of days. This is Heavenly Valley. We won't be able to see much except Snowmageddon, as they say. If you look hard, you can see some, I think another shot here, let's try this. Let's, ooh, that might be a winner. We'll see. I bet it's snowed in. That's the top of the tram. Oh, there we go. Temperature up at Heavenly right now, 17 degrees. You can see the wind blowing in the trees, and you can see it's cold and it's snowing. Um, most of the snow accounts I've seen, like, like Palisades and Heavenly, foot and a half of snow so far. They'll pick up another two feet of snow today, foot and a half, two feet of snow today, I would suspect. Let's see what else we got. Can we do one more? I love looking at snow pictures. There's something awesome about being warm in your house and watching just snow. So these brave souls on the chair lift, that's impressive. I'm always, when I was a little kid, I used to ski with my dad and uh, I literally just dislike skiing in, in a snowstorm. It's just not, it's uncomfortable. I mean, it's, it's invigorating, but uncomfortable. And these folks, I don't know if you can see it, those, that's a line of people, because it's spring break. So even though things are going off and it is nasty out there, it, folks are into it. So you gotta, you gotta love that. Um, like I say, Palisades got over a foot of snow today. Let's take another peek. Let's go a little further down the line here. I do love these cameras. Um, okay, that's, that's not working for us. Oh, oh, look at that. You know, our guy that shovels the snow, he's gonna be busy. This is the top of the tram up at uh, they're up there around 8,000 feet, I suspect, but it's, it's a blizzard. I wouldn't be surprised if the top of the mountain is verboten, right? I bet they closed it down because of the wind. Um, I, didn't check, I didn't check wind gusts today, sorry about that. Uh, but you can just see it. So again, this is all bonus stuff. I'm gonna do a little move here. I know it's bad YouTube. Um, oh, and then I was gonna ask you guys, let's see if this works now. I was gonna ask you guys, there it is, nice. 
Castle Peak, yeah, you can see traffic moving. Do you, I was looking at YouTube Live, I don't see the advantage to doing live. I mean, I did live TV forever. I mean, it would, the advantage would be if you have breaking weather. This is more like a weather 60 minutes we do here. We do the forecast and then we look at what's, what that forecast is like in real boots on the ground uh, away. Um, so I would be interested in what you think about live uh, casting. Because I, I looked at it, I, the thing I didn't like about it so much was I can't really, um, I can't really curate. You know, there's, there's pictures and stuff, I, I, I can't get, I can, but it's, it's just not as formatted. It doesn't format as nicely. This is Twin Bridges, but I'd be interested in what you think. Twin Bridges, um, 50, looks like they're, it looks, that looks like the chain control spot right there, doesn't it? Where he's checking chains. Um, just one of those days up in the mountains. So let's take a look at the birds. I think they got some wind up on, yeah. They, the kids got some wind. This is the uh, Big Bear Eagles. Um, somebody texted me yesterday or emailed me yesterday and said, hey, uh, uh, Shadow brought in like six little good sized fish. Um, so, because we were commenting on what an awesome hunter he is. And apparently this is an awesome spot for the Eagles, Big Bear Lake, because the, it doesn't freeze. And so they can, f I mean, I, no duh. So of course they're gonna love it there. So they, they can fish actively all the time. Uh, this is, that looks like mom to me, but I, again, I, sometimes I get them confused. Babies are doing great. There's two left. Uh, like I said yesterday, the, the nest's big. So the, uh, if, you, if you can scale this up, like I'm gonna, like if a guy peeked his head, if a man came up the back of this tree and peeked his head out, like right here, I think his head would be, I'm trying to get scale. That head was a wrong thing to do. <laughs> I don't know, Never mind. I just can't tell how big they are because the nest is six feet across. So if the nest is, if that's six, I'm sure it's to the edges, but it's six feet across, that is some significant, um, significant nest and significant bird size. Anyway, they're getting a lot of wind up there now. We are going to go back up to 80 and sign out. Thanks for watching. Oh, today's gonna be one of those days. Um, we are definitely gonna see thunderstorms somewhere in central and northern California. Travel to the mountains. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even get in a car to go up there until Monday afternoon, or not, what am I saying? Till Wednesday afternoon, till tomorrow afternoon. I think tonight, nasty. Tomorrow morning, not great. And then boom, I think it's money. And I think Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, in terms of skiing, holy smokes, right? Okay, hope you get it. Uh, I will talk to you again tomorrow. See you back here.